These two aircraft dominate their categories. The Cirrus SR-22 has been the world's top-selling FAA-certified single-engine airplane for 16 years, and its lead is growing. The RV-10 is far and away the world's most popular four-seat kit airplane, and they embody designer Richard Van Grunsman's total performance philosophy. So how do these airplanes stack up in a head-to-head -head performance contest? Let's see. First, we'll compare takeoff distance. The pilots line up side by side on the runway, hold the brakes, push the power up, and then race to get airborne. Both airplanes are carrying two people and 60 gallons of avgas. The RV-10 is about 700 pounds lighter, and the Cirrus is more powerful with a 310 horsepower engine that gives it a 50 horsepower boost. The RV-10 surges ahead and gets off the ground in about 600 feet and 12 seconds. That's a little more than half the distance of the Cirrus, which uses 1,100 feet and 16 seconds. Advantage, RV-10. The next event is a max effort climb. The contestants start together at 2,000 feet and race to 6,000. The lighter RV-10 has a slightly steeper climb angle and reaches the target altitude about two seconds before the Cirrus but the Cirrus has a faster forward speed and pulls ahead in terms of distance. The result, a draw. Now for a flat out drag race. The Cirrus and RV-10 move into position one mile behind the photo airplane at 9,500 feet and push the throttles wide open. Okay, ready to push it up. On the count of three. Three, two, one. The contestants stay right together as they overtake the photo bird. Then they do it again, this time from two miles back. Once again, there's virtually no difference in top speed. The result, another draw. Next, it's time to see which airplane can fly slower. The two airplanes decelerate together with the flaps up and the Cirrus buffets and stalls while the RV-10 keeps flying. On the break at 69 knots. Then they do it again with the flaps down this time and the result is the same. The Cirrus stalls first. Advantage, RV-10. The final contest is a short field landing. The quartering headwind is gusting to 18 knots, so both pilots increase their approach speeds to account for the wind. The RV-10 touches down at 59 knots and rolls out in about 500 feet with moderate braking. The Cirrus touches down at 62 knots and rolls out in about 800 feet. Advantage, RV-10. Okay, so just back from the uh, from the flyoff, and uh, it was uh, it was fascinating to me to see how closely matched you know, uh -huh. these these two are, even yeah. though they're not in the exact same sure. peer group. Yeah. You know, as far as certified and experimental, you know, they're really close in terms of performance. Yeah, surprising, a lot of fun. Too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, and, uh... and just a blast. <laughs> yeah, it was a good day. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One aspect we didn't test is survivability in the case of an engine failure. And here the Cirrus airframe parachute sets it apart. Ballistic recovery systems, which makes whole airframe parachutes for the Cirrus and many other GA airplanes, has begun offering one for the RV-10. The importance you place on the parachute system itself will likely decide which of these market-leading airplanes you prefer. Dave Hirschman, AOPA Live.